Alrighty, the last question. Let's try sample A, question number 60. A ramp is set up using a rectangular piece of plywood, shaded region as shown below. So this shaded region is the wood. We want to find the area of this plywood. Answer in square meters to one decimal place. So we can't really find the area unless we know the length times the width. We have the width already, it's two meters. So we have to somehow find this hypotenuse of this triangle first. So when we're given two pieces of information, we have a length and an angle, we're going to use trig to solve for this length here. It's always good to write the mnemonic. Sokotoa. And think about what we have in relation to the angle here. If you put your finger here on this angle, and we're thinking about the opposite and the hypotenuse. We have the O and the, this is the opposite and we have the hypotenuse. We're interested in the opposite and the hypotenuse. That's going to be the sine. So we say that the sine of the angle, which happens to be 9 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which is 0 0.8 meters over the hypotenuse. And we'll call this X. And so we can solve x. We can cross multiply if we wish. I'm going to say that x times sine 9, x times sine of 9 degrees is equals to 1 times 0 0.8. And so we get x is equals to 0 0.8 divided by sine 9. Make sure you're in degree mode. And on the calculator, x is approximately 5.114. It's always a good idea in multi-step problems to hang on to a couple of extra digits of accuracy. Now for this question, we're just multiplying, so this should be enough. Having two extra dec decimals should be fine to get a precise answer to one decimal place. However, when dealing with the squares and square roots, you might have to even hold on to more. Ideally, you'd use the result actually stored in your calculator. So this value here is 5.144. So I'll just write this in here. 5.114 approximately. The area is going to be this number times 2. So doubling it, we get 10.2 approximately. 10.2. Now, if this was a negative number, we'd have to shade this in, but we don't because it's a positive number. So it's this answer here is fine. So mixing trig and surface area problems is not a problem. Bring it.